I just can't believe that I didn't focus the camera while I was doing the rough drawing and the finished drawing for this illustration. But never mind, let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's colour it in. I'm just taping this down. And I had it all set up in the camera to show you me drawing the rough sketch of this. I'm not going to do it again. And, uh, and then the battery ran out just before I started. So, uh, so I put a new battery in and I did everything except refocus. <laughs> so, that was about 30 seconds of drawing out of focus done very, very quickly. I'm going to start off drawing Mr. and Mrs. Sweet or colouring in Mr. and Mrs. Sweet with a colour called Naples Yellow, which I generally use. Legs. I'm not sure whether she should have black tights on actually, but never mind. Uh, Mr. Sweet has his hands there and his face. And then I just drop a little bit of vermilion in there. Oh, that's quite a lot of vermilion. Huh? And again in there. Wash some of that out. I wanted her to be looking a little flushed. But not that flushed. <laughs> That's too much. So what I'm going to do, I've got a kitchen towel here, I'm just going to take some of that colour off and redo it. Because that was just a bit too much. And I'm wanting Mrs Sweet to have dark purpley dress. So I'm going to put that in first. Because I want her to stand out. I think we should have a little bit of shoulder in there as well. And this is just, while it's wet, I'm dropping colour in on top and kind of pushing the colour to the areas that I want. So obviously the darker areas, I want to be darker. So that's where I want to be more paint. And while it's wet, you can kind of push the colour around on the page. Oh! 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 Oh, now it's going all wrong, because I'm hurrying. It's probably ruined the whole thing now. I should have let that dry. I'm feeling the pressure of the camera watching. I'm going to give Mr. Sweet very boring brown corduroy trousers and very boring brown brogue shoes. I'll leave a little bit there of white and I know some of my viewers <laughs> suffer from OCT <laughs> which is obsessive compulsive disorder and when I leave a little bit of white like that out for the for the uh, reflection of the light on there, then they get a bit <laughs> sort of start twitching because they think I've left it out and they want me to go back and <laughs> and uh, fill it in. But I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> That's your problem, not mine. Okay. And again, I'm dropping a darker brown in here and just kind of letting it, pushing it into the areas that I want it. And that's making sure it's dry before I can put this darker bits on, which I should have made sure it was dry before. Well, this video goes on for hours and hours, actually, well, not hours. I thought I'd better speed up the rest. Um, so I, I kind of figured green would be a good foil to the purple, although I zoomed in a bit. And uh, there's going to be a, um, a, a a kind of wooden floor, and Mr. Sweet is reading his Men's Stuff magazine. So I'm putting a kind of a grey photo on the back of you know the Mystery Man, and uh, that red splodge. Then I'm going to put white text over the top. You never want to put text on your pictures in a picture book because uh, you might want to translate them. So always put your text on in Photoshop or something like that afterwards. And 
it's just a question of kind of building it up and building it up and uh, making sure it dries every now and then. So you get a different effect when you paint wet over the top of it when it's dry than when it's wet and you're just dropping colour into it. And now I'm using crayon to add kind of texture and pattern, which is, I just find it easier. And I'm using watercolour crayons because they're, um, they're kind of softer and then I can use the watercolour on them and wash them in if I need to. And hmm, that's probably about it. This is the name of the book, Special Delivery. I'm still working on the logo. And uh, and here we are, look, page one. I think that's looking really quite nice. Let me zoom in a bit. I wish we had a baby, said Mrs. Sweet. Mr. Sweet rustled his magazine and turned a page. I think there's going to be trouble. <laughs> What's in the mail? What's in the mail? What's in the mail? Well, what's in the mail today? This is in the mail today. Let's have a look inside. Please do not bend. I wonder what it can be. Always check there's nothing left inside. Shoot, please open the edge of the cardboard very carefully. I have left one edge free of sellotape so as to make it easier to open gift inside. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. <laughs> Shut elastic bands to release the hole. <laughs> Your personalised shoe rainer bookmark. Yes, this should last many years. Released by putting gently by the head. <laughs> well, this is hilarious. I'm going to read this letter. Dear Shoe and Family, hello and how are you? My name is Lawrence. I'm 40 years old, one of your older fans. You have given me so much joy and inspiration. I have been following your YouTube videos now for about six months. They are fab. I'm also a huge fan of the now deceased Tony Hart. Yes, he was great. I grew up with Tony Hart. Uh, he was one of my earlier influences. I used to watch his BBC TV programmes, Tech Heart and Heartbeat, waiting for my entry to be shown on the gallery. Alas, it never happened. Sigh. I spent about six hours making his enclosed fantastic bookmark. Your very own shoe rainer. Last a lifetime one-off bookmark. I'm very proud of it and my wife loved it so much. Says so she wants me to do one for her with her face also. Please, please shoot, do me the great honour of showing and mentioning my name on your next Wednesday Advice YouTube video. Also, would be chuffed if you would put it on your wall of fame for a while before you decide to use it for its intended purpose. You would make me very proud and happy and make a child's dream come true. <laughs> Here we are, I'm going to put it up on the wall of fame right here next to Freddie Krebs' <laughs> picture of me. <laughs> there you are, Lawrence. It's up on the wall of fame. <laughs> There's room for lots more, so get sending in. Here I am. Thank you very much, Lawrence. <laughs> and uh, I will treasure this and I will put it up on my wall of fame. So uh, thank you very much. And if you have things that you'd like to send in, drawings that you've done to put on my wall of fame and feature on What's in the Mail, then here's the address to send it to. I love getting stuff in the mail. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, why not go and draw Usain Bolt's lightning bolt pose uh, or try the mystery drawing. Either way, make sure you're subscribed and keep coming back for loads more videos on the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel. Uh, in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.